but they'll take. Nice, he caught the downslope, throws it right to the back of the green. And through the back. Out we go to the 10th to Mark McNulty. Nine under, out in 33. Oh, and another one. Mark goes to 10 under. Now McNulty is ready. With his second to the 16th. He's driven away over to the left, which makes a more difficult second shot. But, well, just to let it go on the wind, caught the bank in an awkward putt. Second shot at the 17th. Got his four at 16 from the valley in front of the pin. That's the way to the right a bit. Uh, whoa, 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 no, nope. down the bank, down the bank. He let it go on the breeze and now left himself a very tricky shot. That's just, well, there's a few loose stones on that bit, but what do you do from there? I'm going to try and fly it onto the green. Beautiful play, exquisite shot. Need a new wedge, maybe. McNulty at the 17th, trying to save his par. He's done so. What a good recovery! Great recovery. Great four stays at 13 under, seven under for the day, sharing a fourth place at the moment. Mark McNulty then at the 18th. Full follow through. The hole much longer as you can see, it's taking a struggle to reach the road. His second shot. Shot. That's one of the toughest pin positions. I think it's the toughest pin position we've had here all week, just over the lip of the Valley of Sin. Got it good, got it well, and that putt will give him a 64. At the 18th, Mark McNulty holding out for a par. Missed the birdie putt, went boldly at it. A great round of 65, which has given him a total of 13 under, putting him in fourth place at this stage. Winner of the Silver Quake and joint runner-up with a score of 275, Mark McNulty.